It's time for lunch. We're at Psalm 73. Elohim is truly good to Yisrael, to those whose heart is clean. But as for me, my feet had almost stumbled. My steps had nearly slipped, for I was envious of the boasters. When I saw the peace of the wrongdoers, for death has no pangs for them, and their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, and they are not plagued like other men. So pride is their necklace. The garment of violence covers them. Their eyes bulge from fatness. Their heart overflows with imaginations. They mock and speak in the evil of oppression. They speak loftily. They have set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walks through the earth, saying, Therefore his people return here. And waters of a filled cup are drained by them. And they have said, How could El know? And there is their knowledge in the Most High. See, these are the wrong, and always at ease. They have amassed wealth. Indeed in vain have I cleansed my heart and washed my hands in innocence. For I am plagued all day long, and my reproof is every morning. If I had said, Let me speak thus, see, I would have decided a generation of your children, or I would have deceived a generation of your children. Yet when I tried to understand this, it was labor to my eyes, until I went into the set-apart place of El. Then I perceived their end. Indeed, you set them in slippery places. You make them fall to ruins. How suddenly they are ruined, completely swept away through destructions. Yehovah, when you awake, you despise their image. As one does a dream after waking. For my heart was in a ferment, and I was pierced in my kidneys. I was stupid and ignorant. I was like a beast toward you. Yet I am always with you. You took hold of my right hand. You lead me by your counsel, and afterward receive me unto esteem. Whom do I have in the heavens? And I have desired no one besides you on earth. My flesh and my heart shall waste away, but Elohim is the rock of my heart and my portion forever. For look, those who are far from you perish. You shall cut off all those who go whoring away from you. But as for me, it is good to be near Elohim. I have made my refuge in the Master Jehovah to declare all your works. O oh, Elohim, why do you forever reject us? Why does your displeasure smoke against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation, you did purchase of old, the tribe of your inheritance, you did redeem, this Mount Sion, where you have dwelt. Lift up your steps to the endless ruins, the enemy has done all evil in the set-apart place, your adversaries have roared. In the midst of your appointments, they have set up their own signs as signs. It seems as one had lifted up axes among the thick trees, and now all its carved work, they have broken down with axe and hammer. They have set fires to your set-apart place. They have profaned the dwelling place of your name to the ground. They said in their hearts, let us suppress them altogether. They burned all the appointment places of El in the land. We do not see our signs. There is no longer a prophet, nor any among us who knows how long. O Elohim, how long would the adversary reproach? Would the enemy despise your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand, even your right hand, from the midst of your bosom? End it. For Elohim is my sovereign from of old, working deliverance in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your might. You broke the heads of the sea serpents in the water. 
You broke the heads of the Leviathan in pieces. You made him food for the people living in the wilderness. You did cleave open the fountain and the flood. You did dry up mighty rivers. The day is yours. The night is yours too. You have established the light and the sun. You have set all the borders of the earth. You have made summer and winter. Remember this. The enemy has reproached Jehovah, and a foolish people has despised your name. <clears throat> Do not give the being of your turtle dove to the wild beast. Do not forget the life of your afflicted ones forever. Look to the covenant. For the dark places of the earth are filled with haunts of violence. Let not the crushed one return ashamed. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, O Elohim, plead your own cause. Remember how the foolish man reproaches you daily. Do not forget the voice of your enemies, the uproar of those rising up against you. Increase continually.